I've been working on these songs for a while and just writing and kind of coming up with ideas. There just became that time where I got that itch. I, I had to play again, I wanted to play live. And I figured, hey, I, I better start finding some members, somebody to, somebody to work with, people that really wanted to take part in the same type of music that I was writing. Dan had written a handful of songs. We played them a handful of times, made some little changes here and there, a lot of some drum stuff. And I used to listen to your dreams. Until we got them hammered down pretty good. Every other project I've ever been in, I write a lot of the music and the um, lyrics and the melody all together at the same time. And in this project, I was basically writing lyrics and uh, melody lines over songs that were already written by Dan. You don't have the guitar? No. Oh, that's right, because I, I reamped them and, uh, yeah, I didn't give you any. Fucking weird. I originally offered him to play bass and sing, but uh, he seemed more interested in just doing the singing aspect, which was awesome because I really like bands with just a front man. I think that really makes things more lively. I guess I write songs like mostly about, you know, things I've gone through in life. Usually I write songs that I think turn out the best about people that piss me off, and then I get to just like take it out on them lyrically without them knowing it. Dealing with all your bullshit. Got it. The name Set Fire to Reason came about after we bounced around a bunch of ideas and we finally were trying to figure something out that appealed to all of us and I was thinking about all the, the reasons why we're doing this project. We've all been in a lot of bands before, we've all tried to make this our career and succeeded for, you know, for some of them and, and didn't succeed for others and at this point it's not so much about the successes and failures as much as it's about playing music. Everybody in this band knows or has a fair amount of experience with being in a band, being in a touring band. Since I'm recording my own guitar tracks I had to kind of rely on some Kleenex and painters tape. Let's see how this works out. We get to skip a lot of the uh, learning experience and mistakes. What's that? It's like all bass. It's all bass? Yeah, I hear like tons of bass. Tons of bass. The reasonable thing to do is to stop playing music and have a normal job and, and forget that I even played music. What's the first note? D! D! Yeah. Okay. Uh, I want to do this because I love doing it. So basically set fire to reason was my, my thought process behind that and everyone else seemed to like it. Music is uh, definitely up my alley. I like it a lot. This is a lot more challenging music for me as opposed to anything else I've done. I get to focus a lot more on just singing in this band so I can really concentrate on just, you know, hitting pitches and inflection in my voice. We point our speakers towards the sky! You know, in the last year of doing this project, I think I've like really improved in singing, which is awesome. I think for me, the my favorite part about this project is that it kind of pushes me to be a better musician and try things that I am familiar with but I haven't necessarily played exactly. See through! 
what I've always done in all my bands is I want to write music, I want to get it out there, have other people listen to it, enjoy it, and hopefully be able to go and travel and, and play our music live for these people and hopefully, you know, it's going to latch on and they're going to like it and that in turn allows us to, to write more music, which is, I think, awesome because that's what I want to be doing. That's what I, I've always been striving for. So for a long while I was looking for like band members. For a long while, blah, 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 blah. more inspired by like things like from my past more than it, yeah. That that blah 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 blah. blah. How's it? Can we escape? <laughs> Kermit the Frog here. Shut up! I didn't do voices while you were doing your thing. Sorry. <laughs> Is it recording yet? How many how many songs did we record? Five. No, but you gotta answer like we recorded five <laughs> songs. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So how about Rob this? did vocals in the cover of Night. <sighs> Give me something here. Give me something. Um, Leave me stranded. I'm on a desert island by myself. <laughs> Mine. You guys have to all get naked. All right, that's, that's the cool. Only way I, prefer. I can do. <laughs> Who doesn't fucking love burritos? <laughs>